watching this video, you're looking for the background and information about the math assignment called You Think You've Got Problems. This is assigned in your math class and it'll go live on your cabinet when it's actually assigned, which for one class or two classes was today and the other class will be the next class I have them. You'll have one week to do this assignment. Um, you basically create three word problems because hey, who doesn't love word problems? So you got to make three word problems, but you've got to use concepts and topics that we covered this year in there. So you can make the word problem, solve the word problem, and show all the work. But here's where it gets different. Don't make a boring word problem. Don't make one like you see in the math books where somebody's asking you about Johnny who gives away bags of marbles. Nobody cares, all right? Don't make one about Juan who's selling, you know, magazine subscriptions or candy for the student council fundraiser because nobody really cares about what the interest is and the money he makes, okay? Again, if you remember that old problem, literally we had this earlier on in the year about Yolanda and Yoko running in the race and how close the tie was and, you know, all that. Oh, don't go there. It's really boring. Instead, get creative. Be interesting. Make a problem that reels somebody in. Now, keep it family friendly. Don't go too crazy with it. Eh, PG, PG-13 is okay, but don't go into the dark territory, or right? don't go make it all twisted or something like that. So, maybe Tommy steals his next door neighbor's Lamborghini. He gets on the road with it. He can barely see over the steering wheel. He's going 120 miles an hour. Tommy's driving 120 miles an hour, and his house is 30 miles from school. How long in minutes is it going to take Tommy to get to his school? Again, still very basic, but we can reel him in a little bit more. After you get that first part of the problem down, maybe you change it and say, Tommy is driving erratically. He can barely reach the pedals. In that Lamborghini, flying down the road at 120 miles an hour, not only do you now have to tell me, how long it's taken him to get to the school, which is 30 miles away. But now, when Tommy forgets to stop, and he goes through the stop sign, and he hits the bus load of the local kindergarten, and there's a big ball of flames, and there's kindergartners everywhere going, eee, flying through the air. Oh my gosh, there's 80 kindergartners in the, in the bus. But after the bus has been recovered, they've only found 40 kindergartners. How many kindergartners are still unaccounted for? Hey, who knows, maybe they're all in the back of Tommy's Lamborghini hitching a ride to school too. It could be possible, right? I don't know. So again, it's a silly example of a way to make a problem. I'm just throwing it together off the top of my head as I'm actually talking to you guys. But be creative, be funny. Pursue something that's interesting to you. Make the problem interesting and throw some math into it. Now, let's say you don't want to get creative. You can totally go the boring route and make three word problems that are not interesting at all. And people will read them, and they're going to get me go, my eyes glaze over, because you're going to fall asleep, you're not going to want to do it. So think about the problems. Three different problems. You choose what goes into them. You choose how to solve them, but you must include the solution with your information. I suggest making a document, putting the problem on the document, and then making a separate page or separate document that has a solution all worked out with it. So you have two separate pages there for you, okay? That would make the most sense. Now, if you have any questions about this, once we go over it in class, we'll be a little more specific on this, but this should give you a quick reminder if you're working on this project on your own at some point. Feel free to include classmates in this, but only with their permission if they're willing to be in your problem. Okay. Um, yes, I can even make an appearance in your problem if you want to. Just don't make it go too horribly awry. Okay. Have a good day.